Hey there, I'm Joshua. Welcome to Gander Flight. Today we're going to be talking about installing a kickstand on your bicycle and specifically a review of the Bell Bracer 300. Alright, so we got some new bikes for the kids because they were growing out of their old ones and for some reason, kids bikes, adult bikes, the last four bikes, the last six bikes we purchased didn't come with kickstands. And we've used this Bell adjustable kickstand, the Bracer 300, on three other bikes previously. So when we got these new bikes that don't have kickstands, I went ahead and jumped on Amazon and ordered two more of these for the two new bikes that we're using. I want to show you how to install this and also let you know what size bikes they do and do not fit because it's different than as advertised. So let me bring you in closer. We'll get this kickstand installed and go over the nuances of this particular model. All right, so what you're gonna need is the kickstand. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 14 millimeter wrench. And depending on the size tires of your bike, you may also need a 3 8 inch carriage bolt, but we'll get to that later. So go ahead and take it apart, get it out of the packaging. You're gonna take the kickstand, and I like to put it in the up position, just makes it easier to install. And you're gonna hold it up under the frame here. Now my frame here does not have a piece that looks similar to this in between these two bars. Some of them have them with a hole through it. Um, in which case you're just gonna take the bolt and go through that hole as well. If you want, you could use it without the top piece, but then your bolt's gonna be sticking down real long. And so you might as well just go through the top plate they get you, through the plate that is on the bike if you have one, and then down into the kickstand plate. So you're just gonna take the kickstand, set it below the two bars, make sure you get it over any cabling or things that are running underneath these bars on the sides. On the other side, I've got a derailleur cable. Um, and then put your bolt in down through the top and seat that bolt in. Get it about finger tight, and then we're gonna move it around and make sure that everything lines up in place where we want it to. So we've got that about finger tight. We're gonna play with it a little bit because of the way that this top plate is, is gonna find its yoke between those two bars. And you're gonna to wanna to make it straight. And then get the, the angle of the kickstand to go parallel to the lower bar here. So once we've got that finger tight, then we're just gonna take our 14 millimeter wrench and we're gonna tighten that down. All right, once we've got that nice and snug, our kickstand installed. Super simple process. I know this is not rocket science, but what I wanted to talk about is particularly how this Bell Bracer 300 is marketed for 16 through 27 inch bikes. And I'm here to tell you that that is not accurate from two different bikes that we've installed these on. Now it's a great kickstand. It's super durable. Uh, my wife has it on her bike and my kids, both of their previous bikes have this kickstand. It's held up great to the wear and tear of everyone and I liked it enough that we bought it again for these bikes. However, this is a 20 inch bike. Um, the previous ones are 16. Let me pull this off a little bit here. And as you can see, it's too long. It's adjustable, but this is at the lowest setting it goes. Um, the bike's gonna fall over at this height. So what we had to do on the last ones and we're gonna have to do on this one is go ahead and get your Phillips head screwdriver and remove this adjustable leg here. And now this is where your 3 8 inch carriage bolt's gonna come in. Go ahead and that fits in very nicely. Go ahead and put it back in, tighten this screw back down. And it makes it just short enough that now that we put it down, it's at a good angle, it keeps the bike upright without tipping over on the other side. So in standing upright, this bike, this 20 inch, measures it eight and a quarter. The 16 inch bikes that we had previously measured at seven and seven eighths. And this kickstand as it comes from the factory is too long. Now we've got it on my wife's 26 inch bike, extended, and it's worked great, fits perfectly. So I would say anything over 20 inches, 22 and up, um, that this Bell Bracer 300 would fit for. It's still a great value even if you have to buy a carriage bolt, and I'd highly recommend it. Although I, I really wish that they would come up with a shorter footprint here that's not so long. I mean, this footprint is just over an inch and a half at the longest point 
and an inch and a quarter at the at the shortest point. So it definitely makes a big difference in how short you can get this kickstand. And I'd say it's definitely not marketed to, it's marketed to a 16 inch bike, but it definitely does not fit 16 and it does not fit my 20 inch. Now obviously, you're gonna have to measure from the, the ground to the bottom of your frame, and that will vary based on manufacturer. However, for us, the 16 and the 20 inch bikes did not fit with these Bracer 300s without modification. That being said, again, I did buy them again for our second bikes, and uh, I think they're well worth it for their price. They're, they're, they're great build quality. I just like to see a shorter shorter adjustment. And you know, it's, it's really hard to get a, a non-adjustable aftermarket kickstand because you don't know exactly how everything's going to fit if it didn't come with a kickstand from the factory. So I like the adjustable ones, just wish that the adjustable portion was a little bit, a little bit shorter. All right, there you go guys. A very simple explanation of how to install a kickstand on a bike that doesn't come with it from the factory. Again, I don't know why they don't. But uh, this is the Bell Bracer 300. If you got a 16 inch bike or a 20 inch bike, grab yourself a carriage bolt so you can shorten that up a little bit. Otherwise, use it as it comes. It's a super durable unit and I highly recommend it. I bought, again, so I bought it now for four different bikes, five different bikes, and it works great. It just isn't short enough as it comes to a factory for those 16 and 20 inch frames. So if you gained some value from this video, go ahead and give me some love down below and leave me a comment. What size bike are you gonna be using this kickstand on? If you haven't yet bought the kickstand, consider using the affiliate link down below. It helps to support the channel. And if you gain some valuable information with the carriage bolt or whether you are or are not gonna buy it, click through that link and support the channel anyway. Well, that's all I have for today. Remember to check out ganderflight.co for all the DIY projects we're doing. Until next time, I'm Joshua. You've been watching Gain in Flight. Take care and pay it forward.